Hello everyone, Flying Dutchy here and welcome to Victoria 2 Hearts of Darkness. We are going to start a new run in Victoria 2. Um, I just finished uh, a 10 episode long tutorial for complete beginners. So if you want to know how the game is played, I would recommend you to watch my uh, Victoria 2 for complete beginner series. And now we are going to start a new run. And let's go to single player. I already did a run as the Netherlands, also in the uh, HPM and HFM mods. I formed Super Germany with Prussia, which was also very fun to do. Um, I also played... What did I do as well? I, I didn't play that many runs in Victoria 2. Oh yeah, I played as uh, Sardinia Piedmont and formed Italy. And that's it. So um, my plan for the next uh, run... Oh yeah, you can see my runs here. These are all my runs I did, not that many. Um, you can see I did a bit with the uh, the Turks, the Ottomans, and that's exactly what we are going to do. We're going to play as the Ottoman Empire. Now, the Ottoman Empire, normally in this game, gets completely crushed by all the great powers. They, they go out of the great power list. If you don't know what a great power is, watch the tutorial. Um, but yeah, we start as a great power, number five. And... Um, it's really hard to stay as a great power at the start of the game. The Ottomans uh, are getting destroyed most of the time. And we are going to change the outcome this time. We are going to revive the Ottoman Empire. We are going to conquer all of Egypt, all of Arabia. We will uh, conquer Tunis. We will try to conquer and colonize Africa. Uh, maybe we will go a bit into, uh, in, into uh, what is it? Afghanistan, Pakistan territories. And in the Great Wars we will try to conquer this land of the Russians. And we will try to retake Vienna from Austria. Well, retake. They never got it, but almost got it. And now this time we will succeed. So uh, let's start a game as uh, the Ottoman Empire. Now, I did a bit, of, a bit of a practice run and it's not too, too hard normally. But uh, let's see what happens. So we are, oh, we are actually 7th in the world, not 5th. Yeah. And the USA gets uh, bigger and bigger and there are other countries going to take over our position. Now we do start with 3 people in our sphere. Moldavia. Serbia. And Wallachia. Now you can see that Serbia uh, is friendly with the Russians, so let's try to uh, push the uh, Russians out of Serbia. And what we also want to conquer relatively soon is Persia. So let's have a look. Persia is friendly with the Russians. So we should also try to get Persia out of the Russian sphere. Because if I if I go to war with Persia and the Russians are friendly with them, I have to fight the Russians. And that's going to be way too hard at the start of the game. So we are going to do it like this. Uh, what is this? An alliance from Yemen. Let's uh, take the alliances for now. That's completely fine. Uh, what do we make? So we, especially uh, coal and iron, we do make 11 coal and 12 iron. Uh, we have sulfur, which is good for fertilizer. Um, what do we not make? Of course we don't make uh, artillery, small arms and ammunition. Uh, we don't have any uh, precious metals, oil and rubber will come later. We do not have tropical wood. Uh, we should try to make steel at some point, machine parts. Explosives and fuel. Fuel is later. We don't need clipper transport. Maybe steamers, electricity, fabric. So yeah, we do have most of the things. Uh, but we don't have regular clothes, apparently. That's terrible. People have no clothes in our country. No! <laughs> oh no, that's terrible. Do we not have any artisans making regular clothes? Really? That's interesting. So yeah, we, do, we have a decent economy, I would say. And I will not start building factories anytime soon, because it's a bit too early. Uh, but we have a lot of states, of course, we can build factories in. And we will do that, hopefully, in a right order. Uh, Budget-wise, we will tax all our people. We have 5 million people, 5.1 million. So we get a decent amount of taxation, 200. And at the start of the game, I think we need to tariff everything. Uh, we should spend on military so we get more soldiers and these ones will just go to 51 or something. 
just to make sure we get a bit of uh, clergy and uh, bureaucrats. Now, as you can see, we have a very low literacy of 7.8%. Only 7.8% of our population can read a book. Which is really low compared to our Sweden tutorial run. We had 80%, so we need to increase this. And the only way to do this is by getting more clergymen in our country. And that's exactly what we are going to focus on at the start of the game. I will not pay for my boats. As you can see, it's a lot of money, our boats. And that's because we start with a decent fleet. Um, over here, we have 12 men of men of wars. We have three transports and some frigates. How expensive is it to upkeep one of this? 8.9. I think I'm going to cancel five of my uh, ships here. Let's do six. I'm going to disband it. Because this way we will have more money left in our pockets. Um, let's go to our technology. So we don't have all the technologies as uh, the Ottoman Empire at the start. Uh, we don't have the military staff. So we cannot build Kurasiya, Dragoon or Hussars. Naval wise we are really lacking behind. We cannot make Clipper Convoys. Um, we don't have a lumber mill yet, which we can get from this one. And we don't have luxury clothes. And we also have no steel, of course. And we cannot make any fertilizer at the moment. So what are we going to start with? Now, we will be at war at the start of the game, so I think... That we are going to focus on the level 1 technologies. Because they are cheaper. This one is uh, 3130. Yeah, the number 2's are double the, the points. So let's go with the level 1's at the start. Since we have only 6 points 47 uh, research uh, points. So that's really low. And we need to increase this by getting more clergymen. And get the literacy up. And get our plurality up. And we'll focus on this at the start of the game. Well, let's first get the level 1 military uh, technology here. A bit more army organization. And we can build the Hussars, which we need for uh, reconnaissance. Naval, I think we will not build anything very soon. We don't need a lumber mill. Yeah, I want some steel at some point. But it needs to wait a bit. Machine parts is very nice to have as well. Let's uh, start with this one. There we go. Now, politics. We are having the Yanichars. Um, we like Jinkoism because then we can go to war more. State capitalism. So, um, we can build factories. Moralism. Not too, too great, but there's this one religion and other religions face discrimination. Uh, we can release nations. We're not going to do this, of course. And we have some decisions, but I don't think there's anything useful. No, not really. Bit of prestige, that's it. Okay. Now, our focus points will go to the most uh, populated state, that's Aydin. We're going to get clergymen there and Thrace. And when we have 2% clergymen, we will go to the other states. Because um, if we have 2%, the people are going to start lear learning how to read quicker. Uh, the maximum is 4% of clergymen. If you have more than 4%, um, it doesn't do anything anymore. You have the maximum amount to increase literacy. So at some point we will have 4%, but we will start with 2% in all my states. Now we have a lot of states, as you can see. Uh, now trade is nothing important. We are at war the start of the game. We are at war with Tripoli. The Ottoman restoration of Tripoli. So uh, we have to win this war. And that is over here. We are trying to conquer this land over here. And we will... Oh, we have only two cavalry. Can we attack you in time? Yes, and we will send you here as well. Some infantry, some irregulars. And let's try to win this war. Now the other armies are going to line up. Let's try to not get any attrition because it's terrible over here. We are gonna go to war. With Egypt. 
And we are going to War of Egypt because we are going to take our course back. When we open the Diplomacy uh, tab here, uh, these countries are in my sphere. Egypt hates me. We are at War of Tripoli and did you, do you see the stripes? We have course over here. This is former Ottoman Empire territory. And we are going to do a reconquest war for all the lands to conquer all these provinces here. Is there anything special? Oh, there's a lot of fruit. A little bit of iron and grain. So, at some point we want the cotton over here to build, to milk, uh, to make um, uh, cloth. But for now, we have to just try to win the wars. Uh, I think we can unpause the game now. Let's see if we are actually making money. And what I should try is maybe get an alliance with someone. It would be fantastic if we can get an alliance with Prussia, but... Do you want an alliance? No. Great Britain? Uh, we could get an alliance with Great Britain. Let's do it. That is perfect. We are allied with Great Britain. We can only have one great power. Uh, Persia... Um, okay. We are trying to influence with Persia, but the United Kingdom discredited us, so we have this little flag over here. But we are still gaining uh, points. We killed the troops, yeah. We are going to Tripoli on the 30th, so I will go to Tripoli myself on the 29th. Maybe we can stack wipe the army. Let's not uh, change their mind. Had just an alliance, sure. Had just also in the Arabian Peninsula. Yeah, now I can move. I will arrive on the 6th and on the 11th. Yeah, hopefully we can stack wipe that army. What I think I'm going to do is take Tunis. Because normally France will take it and I want it for myself. And on the other hand, we need to go to war with um, Egypt very quickly. Because when uh, Great Britain gets friendly, they will join the war with Egypt. And we cannot let that happen, right? So I think I'm just going to go to war with, um, with Egypt when we can. How is our money situation? No, I don't think we can spend so much on our military. Let's go to 51%. It's gonna move there. Let's try to uh, catch that army. Yeah, I will arrive there first, so we're gonna beat him. Oh, let me drink my coffee real quick before it gets cold. Ah, Abu Dhabi, sure. Let's just ally whoever we can. We are allied with these three nations right now and with Great Britain increase our opinion to 200. Maybe we can keep a long-lasting relation with them. That would be very nice. They are the strongest nation to start of the game. Oh. I thought I was attacking this guy, but apparently I changed my troops around. Well. Now, let's see if they are in place, because then we will start the War of Egypt immediately. This is our land, and we need the people for the taxation money. <laughs> That's how this game works, right? Uh, we are exporting wool, wine and liquor, apparently. Liquor? Our artisans make so much liquor. In the ultimate... <laughs> we make so much liquor. <laughs> Why are they all working on this? Why are they not making... Uh, what was it? Oh, look, they are making clothes now. Yeah, we are also making way too many clothes. And are we just making too much everything in general? Let's have, let's have a look. Where are my artisans working on right now? Glass. Here, look. You have to make more glass. We are using 122. Yeah, because we are making wine and liquor. Are we also making too much wine then? 
Yeah. We are making way too much alcohol in this country. And we are selling it. Yeah, you can see it here. We are exporting wine and liquor and wool. Now, wine and liquor is made by our artisans and wool is just an RGO output. We are importing fruit, grain and glass. So if we want to help our economy, we should maybe make a glass factory. Well, maybe later. And uh, grain, yeah. So apparently we don't have enough grain then. Let's have a look. Where's the grain symbol? No. Well, we are going to conquer more grain. There's a lot of grain uh, over here, apparently. I never knew that grain can be harvested at this area. I always think about this area as being very dry and... Uh, not, yeah, just dry and hot. But apparently in this game, they can make wheat there. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that is completely wrong, but maybe someone who lives there can tell me. If someone over here can actually watch me. I know I have people, some people from Turkey that are watching me and from Russia, and for example, but over here, I have no idea. There's a lot of war over here, so maybe there is no internet and stuff, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to go and uh, go to war here. We will go for our core of Egyptian Ankara and Adana. Now in two wars, I will take you down. What is the supply limit here? It is a bit too high. We can go to Aleppo. I'm gonna split you in half. One go there. One go there. And you're gonna say to one that, that one down. Yeah, we also have uh, Cyprus. There's a lot of fruit here. And we are making money. Look at this. We are making money. Can we go to 61%? Yes. Can we go and get our education higher? Oh, I'm stack wiping the Arby's. Oh yeah, because Egypt is a primitive. They don't have our technologies. Yeah, we stack wiped the army, guys. Get wrecked. Okay, let's not get too much attrition. Because otherwise we lose all our armies. Looks like we are sitting okay here. Let's split my army in half and attack the 3000. Alrighty, everything looks fine. We are still making money, so let's uh, bring our administration up. We have a very low amount of administration. 18.7%. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, I'm just stack-wiping all the armies. Why are the Persians on my border? It's a bit scary, isn't it? Uh, do I have enough with Serbia? I can decrease the opinion with uh, from uh, Russia. There we go. Need to do this one more time, and then everyone is neutral except me. And then we will focus on Persia. Persia is my land. This is Ottoman land. No one else. Oh, hello. Uh, let's help out with the battle here. Get wrecked. They lose 3000 men a day. Yeah, stack wipe. Bye bye. This gives 4 war score by the way. We almost conquered this province. Need to watch out. Uh, let's try to kill the army. Let's see if there are any Egyptians over here. No, they're not here. But yeah, you can see that we are going to lose our great power ranking very soon. Now, when we win the war, we get a lot of prestige. That will help our ranking a bit. But industrial-wise, we are of course not having any industrial stuff at the moment. Uh, now we are making a lot of money actually. Interesting. Let's focus on education. We need to have our people get ed 
get uh, getting educated. We are so low. <laughs> it's just crazy. Ah, we stack wipe the army. Very nice. A bit more coffee. I like coffee. Uh, there's supply limit of 12, so let's not go there. Let's just not go there. It's just uh, terrible land. At some point we have to take it. Oh, we can do something with Persia. What can we do? We can increase our opinion. Yeah, if you want to ban out Russia, we need to be friendly. Are you attacking me? Yeah, you are. Oh, they changed their minds. Um, do I attack him? No. Let's wait until the sieges are done. You know what? I'm going to wait until he is landlocked, which is now, one day before he can move. And I will help out with this battle here. Uh, you need to wait. Let's not get attritioned. Um, we can take more cores from him. So what we should do... Is add a war goal. Right now we only have one goal. Uh, we also want Syria, for example. There we go. We want Aleppo. We want Syria. We want Lebanon. Yep, sure, you can have free press. Oh, they actually survived over here. Got the sieges over there. Uh, you can move there. There's enough supply. You can move there. Oh, are we doing here? Yeah. Let's go there. Now, with the money I have, what I'm going to do is build all my naval bases. Um, I have level 1 naval bases, base over here. And once again, you can only build one in a state. This is the state of Huda Vendigar, and we can build only one. Let's build one in Bursa. Cost uh, 4000. Gonna build one in Polygyros. Uh, Edessa. There's one state here. There's another state here. Oh, this is one state apparently. Uh, Dures. And we're out of money. Yeah, we won again. Let's move forward. Now we will lose a lot of uh, soldiers because of attrition and battles. And that's going to be uh, yeah, really hard to prevent because you do, we need to siege everything. And we don't have enough people to reinforce our armies. You're gonna go there. To watch out for that one to happen. You can see how our army is getting diminished. It's we need to focus on our army. Can we actually just fund everything? Yeah, we can some some sort fund everything. So let's just keep funding everything for now on. I think we are okay. Uh, we are still buying uh, cement for our. Um, Naval base, so that costs a bit of money. But I think we are okay. I wonder what he is going to do. He's going to move to my home, to my land over here. Okay. Uh, let's add the next war goal. We will go for uh, Lebanon. Uh, Great Britain, how do you feel about me? Are you still happy? Yeah. We are number 8 already as a great power. Not good. You are going to Antep. Let's fight him in Antep. The 8th of December. The 7th I will move in. Like this.
and drink some coffee in the meantime. Nice, we can move here. <clears throat> we won, they actually escaped, so let's try to stack wipe him. Well, maybe with the other army. You need to replenish. Come on, stack wipe. No? Oh, I'm paused apparently. There we go. Get wrecked. Let's uh, replenish the armies that are uh, killed so much. Maybe I should split you in half. Let's not get too much attrition. So we have this state. Uh, we have Aleppo. Well, do we have Aleppo? No. Let's add it to the queue. And I'm just going to try to get a 100% peace deal from e Egypt before the uh, before the Great Britain is going to sphere them. Let's just take our course back. Now our score is going, uh, our uh, resource points are going up slowly. Uh, oh, we have enough uh, clergy over here, so let's put it to the next one. And trace, we go to uh, Bia, Biar Bakirvam. So this state will have a lot of clergymen, so, so people will start to read books here quicker, in our capital region. Why is this called Baalbek? Baalbek. I know uh, this city from Sidon, from uh, Imp Imperator Rome, it's a big city. And now the question is, what is left from it in all these wars? What happened over here? Uh, you can go here, no attrition, that's good. Can you go here? Yes, you can move forward. Oh, we can do uh, Persia, so we can now become friendly. Now together with Russia, we are now friendly. So we need to push out Russia and uh, Great Britain. Not sphere Persia, because I want to take their land. Uh, go here. You can go... Oh, there's no supply there. Uh, you can go to Sidon. I'll really try to not kill my pops by getting attrition. It's a waste of your population. And you need your population to make money for you. That's the whole thing. Now, we did our first technology. Military staff system. Just a little bit of organization. Uh, maybe we should just get uh, medicine. No, we can't. We need basic chemistry first for the fertilizer factory. Hmm... Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't really matter. I think let's get the education efficiency. The Malthusian thought. I don't know who Mal who Mal Malthusia was or however he is called. But uh, we get education efficiency. That sounds good, right? <laughs> Let's get it then. I'm not 100% sure how that works with um, education. But you can see now here we are uh, teaching them how to read very quickly. Uh, can I see that somewhere over here? Could see it somewhere. Ah. 
Our artists are becoming clergymen. Oh, and they become farmers too. Uh, I don't see. I don't think I can see their increase in literacy. There is a button, but I forget where it is. I have no idea. No. Oh, <clears throat> Egypt is over here. Let's uh, kill it. Uh, Lebanon, Syria, Palestina. Let's get that uh, one as well. Palestine. Go. Now we do not have cores on um, Sinai. But uh, we will take Sinai and we will of course try to take all of this. The problem is that uh, capital is in Cairo. And Cairo is part of the Lower Egypt state and Alexandria is also part of it. So we cannot take the state until we fully annex Egypt. So, But that will happen. We are going to full annex Egypt at some point. Preferably before the colonization game so that we can... I will, I will try to take Tunis, maybe parts of Algeria and Morocco so we can colonize all of this for the Ottomans. At least I will try. 12 out of 12, yeah, no attrition there, so you can move there. Um, let's see, that one. Uh, you can go there. How much Warsco do I have? 24% only. They would not accept all the things, so we need to siege a lot more. Now, <clears throat> I siege down everything from Tripoli, so let's uh, fully annex uh, Tripoli. Now we have uh, 5.15 million people. And a tiny bit more of sheep, uh, wool, I mean, and fruit. You guys can move over here now. It would be nice if there, we have one name tag here with Ottomans. Let's get some tea. The attrition here is horrible. Uh, over here it's fine, so let's just move the army over here. That was one war, we have one war to go. Um, I would prefer to make some money actually, so I think I am going to put the administration to AD1. Well, is that, is that enough? Mm, not really. I really want to focus on military because we need more soldiers. Um, now, let's lower the, the education for a bit to 81 then. That should do the trick. Hetias, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid against Nejd. I think when I decline I lose prestige, so I have to accept. Let's move there. We are losing money. Um, let's do it like this. Still losing money. No! No, oh, we have two percent somewhere. Um, oh, they're going to siege down my territories. Of course they are. Uh, yeah, the clergyman needs to go somewhere else. 
Albania is the next one. Apparently Albania was a very populated uh, region in this period in 1837. These days Albania is really lacking behind in everything. What happened over there? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I think this is going to be the end for the first episode. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you like the video. Uh, share it with uh, everyone you know. And uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you do that, you would help me with the search results on YouTube. So uh, thank you for that. And then I will see you in the next video in our Ottoman Reconquest. See you there. Bye bye.